Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Caregiver and Spoonie podcast. I'm your host, Jordan Banderas. And just a quick reminder, don't forget to hit that to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any episodes of the podcast. And once again, thank you for all the emails, all the support, all the stories that you guys have shared via email. Um, I'll be posting them on, on Facebook with you guys' permission. So thank you for that. And let's get into today's episode, shall we? Now, I've been talking to somebody on Facebook about like how I was able to get better from my PTSD and I told the person uh, this is because I decided to change the way my way of thinking I, I decided to take care of my mind and I decided to do this episode because a lot of people don't know how to start feeling better about themselves or what they need to do with their ideas or sometimes they can't control their feelings or the way that they see things because of the way that they were raised this happened to me and I know it happens to a lot of people like the same thing happens to my wife so what I, what I decided to do in this situation I'm going to explain a little bit to you as to why it's important for us to be able to take care of our mind and no matter how you were raised you can always start with a clean slate that's pretty much what I want to talk about today so let's get to it real quick shall we now the reason why it's so important to take care of your mind no matter how you were raised no matter how no matter your circumstances is because on our mind and this is what what happened to me on our mind if we if we believe that we can do it and we come up with a plan and we stick to that plan we're going to be able to pretty much come up with the idea. We, well, our, our ideas are concepts. Let's say, our ideas are concepts. So once you have a concept and you ask the right questions in this situation, how can I get to that point? Or what will it take uh, from for me to get from this point to that point? That's pretty much what I did. When, when my wife got sick, I said, no matter what it takes, no matter uh, how long it would take, I will get better so I can become a better caregiver. And I did. And I was diagnosed with PTSD. And then I started listening to all these people uh, uh, and their stories. Like how they decided to change their way of thinking. How they decided to improve the quality of information that they will provide to themselves and their mind. Because one of the things that happens, and, and this is a lot of things, I mean, this is one of the things that people don't realize is that our brains or our minds literally are like sponges. We absorb everything. Everything we see, we hear, we feel, uh, and give me one second. It's we see, we feel. It's everything we see, we hear, we feel, we hear, and we imagine. It comes from our minds. Everything that that the way that we feel. It comes from somewhere. It's it's not it is like if you feel angry, it's not gonna be just because. If you feel sad, it's not gonna be just because. There are reasons that are gonna cause that. It could be a chemical imbalance on your brain, but the medicine should help you with that. Now, in my case, if you uh, and I have talked about this on the blog. Um, I was put on on, on um, antidepressants. It didn't do anything for me, and the w- the reason why it di- it didn't do anything for me is because my depression and and what I was dealing with at that point it was emotional. It wasn't like a chemical imbalance where the where the medicine will 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 pretty much fix that imbalance. In my case, it was emotional, so I had to literally dig every aspect of my life and I keep finding more and more more stuff as to why that make me feel sometimes the way that it makes me feel or things like that I also um had to understand like I had to literally go back to the way that I was raised and realize okay the way that I was raised was completely incorrect like that's not the right way now at this point at 33 years old I'm going to start all over and I'm going to pretty much learn at a conscious level. 
Like I'm, I'm. When we're growing up, we're we're learning at an uh, at an unconscious level. We're not literally conscious because our brains are barely developing, our bodies are barely developing. So if we feel a certain way, we don't know how to to actually um, uh, process it. So if somebody makes us feel bad. And the best example that I have is the baby bottle story that, that I mentioned a few episodes ago, where the reason why I was so attached to uh, physical things or, or to my personal stuff is because I lost my baby bottle and my mom maybe made me feel bad about it. So I was like, I'm not going to lose anything. So there's going to be things like that in your life that are going to make you feel like that, like that the way that you are it's for a reason it's not just the way that you are you saw you feel you hear something that make that's making you feel like that what that is it's up to you to find out and now as spoonies unfortunately let's say like something changes in your life you became ill and whatever you hear in the past now it's coming back as a feeling of regret as a feeling of sadness as a feeling of disappointment because something might have happened in the past you don't know exactly what happened that's the thing it's like you don't know exactly what happened because you might have forgot but the feeling is still there that, that that's one of the that's pretty much what happened with me in the baby bottle story when i realized that i was like wow i had forgotten about that but the feeling still there so that's why it's very important to take care of our minds because if you had bad experiences growing up and now as an adult or, or or now whatever age you're on, you're watching something negative. You're thinking negative stuff. Okay, all those feelings are going to show up because of the negativity associated with it. So when we're thinking negative, negative stuff is going to pop up on our lives because we're bringing it to ourselves. One of the things that I, I read about is like how our minds, if we, if whatever we, we imagine, it's going to, it's going to happen because we created on our minds. Our minds create a reality. And I believe that because I was like, okay, if that's the case, how come in my situation, that this is why I say, how come I'm dumb? You know, because that's what everybody made me feel. And the answer that came out of my own mind, like I gave myself my own answer. That's why you have to ask the right questions. The mind is like Google. It knows everything about you. So what I did, I asked that question and it said, it's because you you never accepted the change. You don't accept the change. You don't accept other perspectives. And I started thinking about it and I'm like, that is so true. Like when I moved to the States, the reason why I was having so much, so, so much trouble or so much, such a hard time, sorry, such a hard time um, learning English is because I didn't accept the change of moving to the States. I always thought I was going to go back to Mexico at one point, but at this point, I'm not going to go back. So I never accepted the change. So now that I, I accepted the change, I was like, okay, so what do I need to do to get better? Well, I need to improve my vocabulary. So that's what I've been doing. I've been reading so I can learn how to read. I've been talking more so I can le learn how to speak. So this is some of the things that you can find in your mind. And another thing is like once you start to feed your mind with positivity, what's happening is that um, all that positivity and obviously you're still going to have hard days. Every day, everybody's going to have a hard days. But once you realize how you can turn that negative switch into a positive switch is going to help you so much because I've had some rough days. But the way that I see it is like, okay, my life has been rough all, all the time. Like look at me from growing up, being beat up. So it's like, what's the difference between that and now? That the difference between that and now is that before I used to get beat up, before I used to get yelled at, now I just have to come up with a solution. I just have to come up with a solution. So I learn by digging into my past, by looking into my memories, by by literally uh, tell, showing myself every day positive stuff that my life is not as hard as it was before. And that's one of the things that we need to we need to understand that. Uh, we can change the way that we see things. If you change your perspective, you actually change 
your 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 way of thinking. If you change your perception, and that this is so true, because I, I'm not gonna lie, I was close-minded, and then I started listening to all like, for example, Les Brown, uh, Tom Bilyeu, Tony Robbins, all this, Bob Proctor, all of these uh, people that literally start from nothing, and I was like, what's the difference between them and me? They were spoonies at one point. Les Brown was told that he was um, uneducable mentally retarded and he realized like that wasn't the case he actually learned and learned and keeps learning every day same with bob proctor he says in 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 his talks how he actually just went to high school for two months and then he dropped out and now he learns every day he reads every day and i was like how come i can do that and in my mind what happened is that it said to me like it's not that you can't it's that you don't want to so I had to push myself. Sometimes we have to push yourself because once we find the answer um, in our minds, you're going to have to push yourself sometimes. That's the thing. Like, for example, you have an idea. Like, if you find your why, which we have talked about in, in, another, in a previous episode, once you find your why and you come up with an idea to contribute to that why, to your reason of why you're doing your, what you want to do, whatever you want to do. Let's say you, you, you good, you're an artist and you want to express yourself uh, creating paintings of love or something, something positive, let's just say that. No? So you create your paintings and you don't know how to sell them. Well, guess what? You have the internet now. You can sell it through Facebook. You can do it to uh, YouTube. You can do all of these things, but it all starts with an idea and all the ideas start in our mind. So any, the same thing happens with your feelings. Whenever you feel something, you just have to ask, how come I feel like this? How come is this making me mad? How come I feel so happy about this? You know, like there's a memory attached to feelings. And, 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 that, and this is why it's so important to learn all over again. Because if something is attached to a, a, a bad memory, and, and that becomes a trigger. But that trigger is in our mind. So anytime we see something similar, like it doesn't have to be this exact same thing. It's just that we have to feel like it's the same thing where it's going to trigger us. So every th- uh, most of the answers that we seek, or in some instances, all of the answers that you seek are going to be within you, in your mind. It's just that it takes time to pretty much find them. And that's why a lot of people don't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't want to do it. But once I started learning more about myself, once I started learning more about other people, once I started seeing uh, a different perspective, once I started uh, feeling different about myself and creating this new self-image and, and this new way of feeling, way of thinking, once I opened my mind pretty much, it's per- a- a- everything changed because I can I see I see it from different perspectives now, and it gives me a different point of view in each per in each perspective. I see it from my wife's perspective. I see it from my from my perspective. I see it from somebody else's perspective. So and that actually and this is true. This is all on Google. You can find it. When you change your perception, it actually changes the chemical reactions in your brain so you create neuroplasticity which means that you're learning something new you're learning something new and this is why you have to feed your mind with positive things yes life is negative so your life might be negative right now you can you feel like like everything is going against you but it all takes one idea one change and once you stick to it you're going to be able to make the necessary changes if you have an idea for example you are in chronic pain your back is in so much pain and somehow you come up with this um pillow that helps you with your pain you can just say to yourself okay this pillow was an idea of mine or this what or this gadget was an idea of mine how can i make it better you make it better and then you can actually uh, promote it on your facebook promote it on on youtube promote it anywhere we have the internet and this is why i i decided to do this podcast because one of the things that i learned uh, by listening to some of the people that I listen to, like they say, like right now it's the best time to find yourself because you, we have the internet. We can um, show 
however we want to express whatever you express whatever you express uh, whatever you're what however you want to express yourself you can do it you can do it on on facebook you can become whoever you want so pretty much you can find anything as well online if you have an idea if you don't know how to say things like that this is one of the things that happens to me i don't know how to say a lot of things my wife helps me to come up with the right words or i find the right words online now because guess what there's a dictionary online there's a thesaurus online so i'm learning as well so that's how i'm feeding my mind with positive stuff by learning new stuff about myself that's how you start with self love by learning something new every day or by trying to learn something and say like i you know what i'm actually going to learn this this is why the the mind is so powerful because once you start feeding it good stuff something that you that you care about you're going to start seeing things differently you're going to start believing in yourself so this is why i, I say this like be be very careful about what you say to yourself because also because uh, when you say negative stuff to yourself about yourself you're hearing it and your mind doesn't know what's true and what's not so if you say i am something bad then your mind is going to make it into a reality your body is going to act like that like for example when you say i am sick yes you are sick but if you just keep saying that you're just going to stay in the sick period because you literally you're not saying like how can i get better or or you're not finding the solution to the issue, to the medical issue that you find that you have and sometimes we're expecting for doctors to do that but doctors don't have the time so that's why we have to learn a little bit more about ourselves like what causes certain reactions in our body like this is how you start this is how i started my process that that which start pretty much with one question like somebody asked me like how did you decided to change your life this is pretty much how i did to feed my mind positive stuff if you have to cut cut off uh, the news do it if you have to read something positive like a positive quote every day do it you just need to change what you feed your mind and what you think about yourself it's not easy it's not easy because we've been wired for so long we've been this way for so long and we're stubborn let's just say it so don't worry it's going to take time it has taken me over 3 years to get to this point it could take you longer or it could take you less it's all up to you but everything it starts with one decision what you want to feed your mind the mind is powerful and like i say all of this is on on the internet you can read about it i'm just telling you the information that i have found and how it has helped me so That's what I wanted to talk about today on this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode. I love the emails. I love the feedback. I love to hear from you guys. Uh, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and you can also send me your your stories at the caregiver and spoonia gmail.com and I'll leave you like always. Always take care of yourself.